Hey, welcome back to Tech Leveler. I'm Lee, and today I have another Amazon Fire Stick tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to update Kodi the correct way, as many people miss out a step and it can corrupt your update on Kodi. If you don't actually have Kodi installed and you've come to this video and you want to install Kodi, check out the link in the description as that's a completely different video. So first let's open up Kodi and head into the settings. This can be found here at the very top in the shape of a cog icon, just underneath the Kodi logo. Then we want to go into system information. And at the very bottom here, you'll see your current build. Mine at the moment is 20.3. There is a later version. So what you want to do is come back out and this is the step many people miss out. So let's press back into the main settings and come down and select interface. Now within interface, you want to select skin. Then you want to select the top one here, estuary. And you want to select this and then select it again and make this back the default skin if you've changed it to any other. You want to be back on the default skin, which is estuary. If you don't, when you make an update, it may corrupt the update of Kodi and things will be lost if it corrupts. So that's a crucial step many people miss out. So once we've made sure that we have the skin and we need an update, let's press the home button on our remote of the Fire Stick and come and find Downloader. Mine is in my applications. Now, once we open up Downloader, we need to enter this code exactly how it is here on the screen. Then come down and select go. You'll be redirected to a countdown to the Kodi download page. Then you want to come down and select ARMV7A and the 32-bit version. Once you press that, it will start to download instantly. Then this page will come up and rather than, and rather than its normal message, it'll say this. Do you want to install an update to this application? Your existing data will not be lost. It does not require any special access. So it says this, however, if you haven't changed the skin back to the default, you may lose data. So remember to do that. So what you want to do, once you're happy with everything, press install. The install will then start. Then it'll say app installed, but this is just an update. So what you want to do then is press done as you want to delete the install file. So we do this by selecting delete and delete again. Then we can come back to the home screen and open up Kodi. Then once Kodi's opened up, it'll look like it's opening up for the first time, but all your information still should be within Kodi once it opens up. Then let's press the settings, then system information, and you can see here at the bottom, the build has been updated to 20.4. However, if you go to that page, the code, what I left, in the download section, it should take you to the latest update. At the moment, it's 20.4, but if you're watching this at a later date, it may be a later model. But this is the correct way to update Kodi. Make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide, making sure you put that skin back to default so you don't lose any information. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, smash the like, smash the subscribe, for many more Fire Stick tutorials like this one, and most of all, thanks ever so much for watching.